Hi everybody. I want to share this doll I brought back from San Antonio with y'all. Her name is Dolly June and she has a note attached to her saying that she was born in 1910. She was Grammy's doll when Grammy was little and she's um, quite pretty and I think a little bit unusual and in a few minutes I'll take the camera off the uh, tripod and show a few features up close. But in any case, I wanted to bring her back and I thought it was funny because um, when the twins were helping me unload my car, my son absolutely did not like her and I got on to him for not saying something nice about her because he called her creepy and I don't think she's creepy at all. I think she's absolutely beautiful and um, I just feel like she was in that house for a couple of decades unattended and I think she's happy to move up here with family and um, I think she'll have a nice home here. So in any case, I like her plenty. Um, one funny thing that happened, and I think it was just the timing was funny, but when I first had her in my room, I had her sitting on the floor next to a bunch of other stuff I needed to go through. And her eyes were shut the whole time. Her eyes were shut for days and days and days. And then um, when I was putting things up, I had picked her up and set her on the table. And um, I found the note telling her age and her name and everything. And her eyes were still closed, but as soon as I said her name, her eyes opened. So maybe that was just a coincidence, who knows. But um, I like her a lot. I think she's beautiful. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod real quick and um, show y'all a couple of things that I think are unique about her. Okay, I'll zoom in closer, but if you look at her face, I have not seen a doll like this. Um, can you see her eyebrows? She has these places. Um, like little indentions built in for the eyebrows and it looks like there was actual eyebrow hair coming out. Maybe if I zoom in a little more you could see what I'm talking about. There you can kind of see how they look. And then um, she has little teeth in her mouth. I don't know if you can see her little teeth. They're all still in really nice condition. She has a little dimple on her chin. And um, I'm quite certain this necklace did not come with her. Um, I'm sure it was placed on much later. So, let's see. I'm just going to show y'all. There's her little shoes and everything. I'm just going to show y'all the, the note. Where's the note? I'm going to take these off after I shoot this. I just kind of want to record it. Let's see here it says, my name is, jo is Dolly Jean. I was born in 1910 in San Antonio. Uh, I assume that's like given to or something. Charlotte Bowes, who is my Grammy, and they used to have a house on Crockett Street. The house on Crockett Street, on Crockett Street is the house my, um, Dad was born in, and it burned down. There was a fire, but nobody died in the fire. Um, but the house burnt down, and that's when they moved into the other house you saw from the last video. I'm not doing a bunch of videos on all this stuff. Um, this may be the last one I'll probably do for a while, anyway. Um, but I just thought she was so cool and interesting and I know a lot of people wanted to see her and a lot of people like dolls. It would be fun to pull out my other little um, porcelain doll because the do other doll I have is not much bigger than Dolly June's head. So she's quite a bit larger and still in, you know, really nice shape. She still has, you know, her pretty hands and everything. So, um... Anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd share her real quick, and then I'll get back to making more um, witchy, magical-related videos. Okay, I hope this finds everybody having a great weekend, 
And if you join me, thank you for watching. And I wish you many blessings. And I'll see you soon. Bye.